In 1881, a French guy called Gustave Trouvé had developed an electric motor, and he put that with rechargeable batteries into an English tricycle, made in Coventry of all places, and rode it down the streets of Paris, and that was in April 1881. It seemed too good to be true that with an anniversary 140 years ago to the day, that we couldn't try and recreate it in some way. And I love the internet, went on it, found an amazing guy called Christian Richards, who builds penny farthings, you know, Victorian bicycles. He's a former IT engineer, so he understands technology, but he's a self-taught artisan making Victorian bicycles, tricycles from scratch, originally in his garden shed, now in a workshop. And he does everything literally by hand. It's bespoke. It's almost better than it was done 150 years ago. The biggest challenge of this project is to try and make it historically accurate. The details in the picture show it's like it was a lever driven version. So rather than your pedal and chain, it also has the tiller steering system. And you can see it's got the bench saddle and there's a big box at the back, which looks to be the, the battery housing. But the lever driven system is the complicated part. So started with the lever drive and then built the main frame around that. So for the electric system to work, I've had to add an extra sprocket to the main driving wheel, which I can then run a chain from the motor. So it's very similar to a modern e-bike. So you've got the motor to assist you. You can still pedal at the same time. This is the, the throttle. It's effectively a grip shift throttle which has been modified so it can be adjusted with a lever. This lever here is for the brake so you've effectively got a leather lining which gives enough friction to slow the trike down. Gustave Truveau when he combined an electric motor, a rechargeable battery and a cycle very similar to this one, uh, that would be one of the earliest if not the earliest electric vehicle uh, to be seen on the roads. The history of electric vehicles is really rooted a lot further back than people realise. And so I think it's great to have a celebration 140 years on that shows that this technology was around and did exist and was actually adopted quite widely back at the start. So this is the tiller steering system. So you can see as you turn the front fork moves and the rear one moves with it. So it's connected via this rod here. The two wheels steering simultaneously is to help take tighter turns in the road. Wheel rim, you would first produce the profile. You get the raw material come in, which is basically a big long length of steel tube. And then I send it for a series of rollers, which produces the profile shape. Uh, and then another series of rollers produces the big ring shape. The rim would need the join welding together. Then we drill holes for all the spokes to go in. We'd then attach the spokes, which are like long screws. You basically have a hub at the centre, which is used to pull the whole thing together. Each spoke has to be tensioned. I do it by feel and by the sound, because you get a different tone. So if you, if you basically strum a spoke, you get a, a dull sound if it's slack, and then it, it goes higher. See, that's... You can tell that's tighter than the others. That's it. We haven't got very long to do this. From the moment I found out about the anniversary to recreating this moment in 2021, we've really got to get a move on. We've managed to source a great partner, Maxus, who build electric vans. So hopefully we're going to be pretty well zero emission getting to Paris. They've also got a little bit of history in the English West Midlands, because that's where this design of tricycle first came from. We're about to give it its first test. It's difficult to control. <laughs> That's probably about as fast as you'd want to go. The steering's quite twitchy at speed. Well, I'm glad it works. That's the, the main thing. I just want to maybe make some changes to the switch which activates the motor, just to make it easier to 
deactivate it because it gets a bit too fast. J'avoue que je suis extrêmement surpris, je n'aurais jamais imaginé que quelque chose comme cela fonctionnait déjà à l'électricité en 1881. Moi j'aurais dit ça dans les années 1900-1910. La maîtrise de la batterie en quelque sorte. C'est très joli, c'est vraiment un très très bel objet. Les parisiens ont sûrement supposé voir le diable circuler.